guys, Zuljin here and welcome to the first video in a series dedicated to an upcoming game called Crowfall. Crowfall is an MMORPG that is in very, very early pre-alpha, uh, as well as a funding state right now, and the developers were kind enough to share access to the game with me so that I can show it off to you guys. Um, Every one of those top 10, top 5, top 3 videos that you see about MMORPGs um, that are coming in 2018 uh, usually contain Crowfall. This is a game that I'm very excited about and um, I got the chance to meet with some of the developers over in um, PAX South um, at a meetup there and I was delighted to be able to talk with them uh, more about the game. So. Uh, the game is gorgeous. It's it's in a very early state, like I said, and I'd like to show you a little bit about crafting, which I thought was one of the most interesting uh, things about the game. I am a Ganushan, by the way, is the name of my race. I believe that's how you say it. It's like a guinea or a mole rat. He's got some cool abilities, like he can stealth, and he can go under the ground and move under the ground. He can burrow and jump in and out freely, and he has some abilities that come with that as well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get out the ground. We're going to do crafting today. So as you would imagine, any sandbox or crafting game or whatever, um, you start off by punching trees, and this is no different. If you go up to a resource node of any kind, it'll say what you have to do to harvest it, um, or what it is to harvest it, and what rank of harvesting it is. Naturally, at rank 1 is the lowest, so very, very, very easy um, to get... I guess you can say resources from this. So we can hit this tree a few times and it should yield. You saw that little roller tech? It should yield a booty bump too. Why not? It should start yielding some stuff here. Oh, and we got something kind of rare. This is a golden apple. You don't get these often, but they do restore a ton of hunger here. Uh, we're going to need a few more wood. And with those wood, just kind of like in, in Minecraft or any other crafting game, you start off with wooden tools and you kind of go from there. Uh, we should be able to get one more log, I'm hoping, from here. Almost. Yes, all right, we've got three logs. So we can start off with basic tools. Now, granted, we're probably going to need to be able to harvest wood a little bit faster, and I think that we should make the axe. So, uh, by pressing the J key here, we go into crafting, and there's a basic harvesting tool set uh, that you can select from. There's hammers that can pretty much harvest any stone-type node. There's knives, which you can use to harvest, like, corpses or animals. Um, and a pick, which you can use to harvest ore. Uh, so let's start off with the harvesting axe. They all actually take the same recipes right now because it's it's really early and, and there's there's no other point um <laughs> so just wood is fine like in in minecraft it was the same thing so let's go ahead and load up the wood and we're going to go next you can even label it i'm just going to call it z basic runestone axe just to see what it looks like there and you can load it into your inventory and here it is and it even says z basic runestone axe uh let's go ahead and load it up onto our hot bar there's a few different types of hot bars here there's a survival tray a melee tray and a stealth tray and these will uh vary depending on what uh, you are here, but um, my abilities are all up here, and I've, I've subdivided them. Like I said, we'll get further into that in another episode, but um, I'll show you basically what happens. So now that we have a hatchet, crafting uh, changes just a little bit, right? So you can unequip it as just as easily as you can equip it, and um, when you approach a node with a hatchet, you'll notice that when you hit it, you'll have a, a pip that kind of goes up. So uh, it, it's going to be hard to see here, but right here, right behind this inventory window, uh, when I hit it, you'll see that I get like a different symbol and it, it goes like up a level in my meter, okay? Uh, notice you also have a white target spot, kind of like you would see in Fortnite. Um, so that's a weak spot that develops, and when you, you'll have chances to hit those to do, like, critical harvest damage on all of these spots. See, I just hit it for 127, and it went away. You have a limited time to hit it or whatever, but once you get it, you can see that I harvested that tree 
a lot faster. Now that we have a few more logs, I'll do a couple more nodes and I'll show you a little bit more. Let's do the hammer next. All right, we've got the hammer set up. No need to re really rename it right now since it's a basic item. And we're gonna do the same thing with the hammer here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into our next slot. So uh, I'm gonna equip the ax again and I'll show you a little bit more. So if you hover over, if you hit the tree here, you'll see that my one icon in my tree just lit up like I can use it. And if I use it, I get some sort of buff, right? So now I'm hitting the tree at 148, <laughs> which is considerably more powerful than I was hitting it before. And it's because there's a specific buff that you get um, depending on how many of the uh, the pips you have lit up. So here I have five again. If I, if I go ahead and use that, it's gonna be the same thing. But here I only have one pip. So if I use it, you see it's a different animation. So what's that all about, you ask? Well, let's take a look. So let's go back into our skill tray and hover over it and you can see uh, it's called energetic harvesting. You gain harvest pips, you gain buffs based on the number of harvest pips spent one harvest pip gains an energetic harvest, which increases grave digging, um, mining, quarrying, skinning. So you could use it on pretty much anything that you're trying to harvest here. Um, there's harvest pips for number two to gain a perceptive harvest, which increases the spot weakness by 5% for eight seconds. That's the little target you saw. Uh, instantly restore eight stamina is for three pips. Four is it increases the effectiveness of any energetic harvest. Um, for seven seconds. You can restore stamina and stuff too. And number five is the gain Furious Reaping. And that's the one that we just saw. And it basically um, increases the base damage uh, by 40 for six seconds or two hits, whichever come first. So let's go ahead and try that on a stone. Let's go ahead and go to a stone node here. And I'll show you basically how that looks. So what do you do with all these materials? Well, you can craft all sorts of things. You can craft better harvest uh, tools. You could craft weapons, armor, uh, stuff like that. Naturally, um, you can get ores and stuff like that. This is slag, okay? This is basically the first ore. And I can show you what happens when you hit it with nothing um, or something actually, but not the right tool. You can see that you only do six damage to it, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the hammer and you get basically the same thing. Now. If I go to the tree and hit it with something that isn't an axe, you can see that it's still only six damage. If you'll notice, I do like almost four times that much just with my bare hands. So it's definitely not worth using any other tool. And I don't think that you can harvest this. Yeah, you can't harvest anything uh, from stone or, or nodes or, or metal nodes without... Uh, the right tool. So anyway, let's grab some stone. And you see the harvesting is basically the same. It's a little bit more difficult to see the weaknesses on the stone because of the color. I'm hoping that that's actually remedied in a future patch. There we go. And you saw right at the end, I ran out of stamina there. And I also have my five pips saved up. Um, so a lot of people, well, from what I know, a lot of people just use different types. So let's go ahead and load it up here on five and I'm going to hit it. One, two, three. Now watch my stamina. See my stamina just raised. That was because I used three pips. Now I used two pips and you get all sorts of different. This is the one for more, uh, weak spot harvesting. So there's a ton of different things you could do. Now that we have a little bit more wood and uh, stone as well, I'm going to craft a little bit of ore, and we're going to go into the second version of crafting, which is runic tools. Uh, let's go ahead and minimize this for now. Um, boom. Oh, i got to click on the right menu, I suppose. Wait, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on here? There we go. I don't know what was happening here. All right, let's go for pick. And we'll assemble. And we will be able to harvest ore nodes then. There we go. Let's put that in this slot. It'll equip it for us. And now we can start harvesting slag. I think. There we go. 
127, beautiful man. When you get when you get a critical and you use um, the 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 pips and stuff, you can do a lot of damage. And naturally, you get much better tools that can do this for a little while. So I've got a little bit of ore to my name here, which is good. Um, now I can probably start to do some fun stuff with uh, with getting a better material online, and I'll show you how to do that. Well, a better tool online. Uh, we're not quite to the point that we could get better materials. Um, you can get better materials with basic tools, but it does cap after a little while. You'll do much, much, much less damage after a little while. Um, anything you try to hit, like if it's above rank 1, you'll do less damage per hit with the same type of tool. And eventually, that damage will reduce all the way to nothing to where you can't actually harvest those nodes without better tools. So, uh, it's definitely best if you do um, uh, new tools. Anyway... So now we can look into something called rune making. So rune making is how you get a little bit better of the tools to start off. Uh, you have a bunch of different things. If we want, uh, let's say, for instance, a knife. Um, well, let's do something that we can actually show you the difference of because I'm not going to do any uh, hunting uh, this episode. Uh, we got an axe sigil. So the axe sigil requires ore, ore, and parchment paper. Okay. Um, now, if you go into runes and you go into basic harvesting tools, uh, you'll notice that it takes a specific type of sigil and an unmarked rune stone. So you need the sigil that we just looked at and unmarked rune stones. And unmarked rune stones are made simply with stone. So let's go ahead and use the stone that we got from the previous harvest. And we'll notice something else that just come up, and it's called Run Experiment. So you have experimentation points that you can add to augment the statistics of said item. Um, being that this is a component, any time you use a component with augmented statistics, it will ultimately augment the statistics of the finished product. So uh, right now you'll see a difficulty rating as well as your skill. Let's just select... You can see that you can select anywhere from one, two, three, or four. We have a total remaining points of four, and you'll see that the risk uh, is run. So you can get a dramatic increase uh, depending on what you do. I'm going to go ahead and run two. We'll try. We got a failure. We got another failure, and we got a success. Finally, a success. So you can see that I'm not that good at crafting yet, but that's coming. Anyway, uh, I got a 1.05% buff um, to durability uh, as a component. So that's that's pretty good. I mean, I've seen it's it could actually it's terrible. <laughs> it, it could have been zero, I suppose. But anyway, so we got that. We got the basic rune stone now, or the 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 unmarked rune stone. And now we have to look at the parchment paper. The parchment paper is located on the woodworking components. Uh, it takes a little while to find where stuff is, but once you find it, it's not that hard. This only requires one wood. So we go ahead and select one wood in here, and it when we go to assemble, it's going to show us that it's going to make five parchment paper. That's going to be good to make a few tools with. Unfortunately, this doesn't have any experimentation to it, so we just make that and call it good. All right. So now that we have that, let's take a look at, we'll go back up here. Let's take a look at rune making once again. And rune components. So that axe sigil that we need was the parchment paper and four ore. We're short one ore. Let's go ahead and go back. Let's find another, there's some slag right there. We'll go ahead and grab the slag. That's cobblestone, <laughs> not slag. There we go. We really only need one. There we go, just to show you. All right, so now that we got that, let's go ahead and load those up. Boom, boom. And the parchment paper, okay? We'll load it up. It says that it's going to give us an axe sigil here. And again, we have four points with a difficulty of 25 to try to get more durability. Let's run an experiment with great success. It looks like we got a huge bonus there. Let's run again with a normal success. We'll run it one more time with a success. <laughs> There's different varying degrees of success. 
Um, so that was actually a pretty good run. Now, naturally, the more you invest at one time, the more you can potentially get. So the risk reward type deal, you know. Anyway, uh, we made the axe sigil component. Now we can combine this with the unmarked rune stone that has that little bit of augment. And we will get a durability bonus to the weapon that we make. Or the tool that we make, I should say. All right. So now that we got all the components taken care of, let's take a look at harvesting tools. We'll put the axe sigil in and the rune stone and assemble. And now you'll see one different category here. There's durability and grade. Grade is the overall quality. You'll also see that difficulty is a little bit higher here. Now you can get critical failures that will not only not allow you to craft this, but take the resources that you've already done. So you can see crafting can be kind of complex. You can only imagine in very, very, very complex recipes that that would stink. But I believe that critical failure will only be a partial uh, failure next time um, a patch comes out with crafting. Uh, I believe that's what I heard, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, let's try to get a 50% grade increase with failure. Another grade increase with success. We've already got some durability increases for what we went for. So I think grade, going for grade is good. And we got a great success on that. Very, very good. So we should get some durability increase from the components that we made with durability. And you can see the statistics is plus 10.636 logging. And we're going to have a durability of 262 on this axe. And there we go. It's here. Okay, so we put the axe in. Um, in. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I'll show you the difference between what we got here. Um, just quickly, our basic axe right here. Uh, the durability on that is... Let's see, will it show here? There we go. Um, 262 durability there, which this axe is only 100. So we get quite a bit of durability increase, and the damage naturally is much higher as well. Okay, so uh, just to show you how it works, let me put that back in. And we'll go side by side. There we go. All right, so... One hit is 85. All right. This hit is 95, uh, which would equate to the plus 10.35 it told us we need or whatever. 85, 85, 85. And 95, 95. Let's hit the weak spot with it. 143. Actually, let's use the buff and we can hit for 167 a couple times which is pretty amazing so you can see you can start harvesting really really fast at the beginning when we were just using our fist there uh it was a little bit slow and now i mean we're we're going through it pretty dadgum fast along with harvesting wood pretty fast so especially later on when you get to uh, complicated materials to craft it does get a little bit crazier plus you got this nice sexy blue glow <laughs> to your weapon now which is really really cool but that is crafting in a nutshell ladies and gentlemen as you saw before there are a lot of different categories to go through uh, I've made weapons and armor and all sorts of things there's alchemy that can boost your crafting skill with experimentation. Uh, right now, there's some uh, pre-alpha test potions and stuff that only take a little bit of ore, but dramatically increase uh, your experimentation and stuff like that, as well as harvesting potions to get more uh, items from nodes. There's cooking, blacksmithing, woodworking, even necromancy uh, or necromancy, however you want to say it. Stone masonry, jewel crafting, a ton of stuff yet to come so like i said guys there is going to be a link in the description below to check out more about crowfall uh, expect to see a few more videos uh, on this game for sure it's something that i want to follow the development of quite closely it's something that i'm really really enjoying right now so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed the video this is zuljin signing off and we'll see you next time